When working with Spotify data, you don't start with R. You start with going to Spotify developer, um, something. Spotify, if I can spell. That's why your videos are so long. Spotify developer, is that what it is? At least I'm doing it for you so it's like not stressful. So I should have clicked on Web API. Um, I already have an account, so maybe you have to log in. And actually, I'm gonna step one back and just press Web API. Good. All right, so I'm I'm in a decent place. This is not where I want to start. Um, and so ideally, this is where we're gonna get our API key. This project requires you to use API key. I'm gonna show you my API key, but I shouldn't show you my API key. Will I delete it? Mm. <coughs> Will I use it again? No. Um, probably should delete it. So here I'm gonna log in to go to login. As you can see, I already have a couple things. I've been analyzing data with Spotify for a while. Not that many things. I'm gonna create a new app. Okay. Um, this all should work. Let's say we're gonna uh, learn how to, how to get data. App app description get data because all the stuff doesn't really matter. Website you can say NA. Some websites don't, some APIs don't allow you to do this. Again, you say, what's the API? It's a great question. I thought I mentioned it in class, but maybe you're just watching this and you're just learning on your own. It's an application programming interface. It's a way for you to communicate with a server. You're the client, they're the server, and you want the data from the server. This is us getting keyword get um, information from the actual server. So what we're going to do is click on Web API because that's what we're going to be implementing. I'm assuming you understand the agreements. I understand the agreements. Um, and just click save. No errors. No errors. Yes. All right. So um, I'm gonna zoom out. This is way too zoomed in. All right. So zoom out a tad bit. And what I want to go to is endpoints. I believe not endpoints locations. Come on, the manual. It ought to be settings. I shouldn't second guess myself. There we go. Settings. And with that being the case, I'm actually already showing you something that's bad. <laughs> so when it comes to this, um, this is my ID. This is my secret, even worse. But I'm going to delete this. I promise. I'm going to delete this. And what's going to happen is that you're going to utilize the ID in secret with regards or within a function to get a token. So every single time you run a Spotify R, which was seen in a moment, the uh, library, uh, whenever you run a function within Spotify R, there's back, there's code in the background giving it that token to say, yes, we're giving access to that information, access to that information, access to that information. So the ID in the secret, it gives you a token, which you therefore should still not use, or at least show it what I'm going to show you. Um, um, and then from there, uh, you'll be fine. You'll be able to get the token and be able to use the functions. Um, so here, so we're going to go right into R. Okay. And where it says ID, I'm going to place my ID. Okay. And then when it says secret, I'm going to place my secret. Um, Okay, all right. So, with that being said, now watch this magic. Go to console. That's from my finance video. <laughs> all right. So, what I'm going to do is tell you that let's do this, do this, and then let's go ahead and just run. So everything's loaded. Great, fantastic. Then I'm gonna now actually I'm gonna remove this one. And then put it over here. Okay. And now I have access to the Spotify R package. So Spotify R was developed by this gentleman, I think named Charlie, and has a lot of functionalities that allows you to make those requests to that server. And so when I now run this, I should get access to a token. Again, this is something that should be secret. That's shown. There's a way to do that, but that's neither here nor there for now. And so if you notice, like this particular function 
get track audio features never gonna give up give you up i don't know who sings that um there should be a, uh let's see so it always has an authorization or a particular um, access, re request for the access token, but you don't have to do that because when you run it like this, the it's it's actually doing the, the access token, giving the access token in the background. Long story short, so when I run this code, it's going to get this tracks information. Good track information. Let's see what it. So well, that's interesting. That's fine. Um. That's cool. What I'll do is use utilize a different function. Okay, it's gonna be get. So get underscore and actually when as you see it says all these Spotify R packages. I'm gonna do by artists. Artist audio features. Okay. And wow, this autocomplete is very annoying. Um I'm gonna do Taylor Swift. She doesn't Taylor Swift. Okay. And then we're going to change this to artist df artist. And if this asks for the ID, I'm going to be mad. Okay, let's see. Oh, it's taking a while. It's working because she has a lot of songs. <laughs> she has a lot of songs. All right. Um, there we go. I guess that's not a lot of songs, but that's a, that's a request. That's a lot of money. I mean, it's a lot of, you know, bandwidth to carry all that information. All right. So some things to note. Truth being told, how this information is being transported from the server to us is by way of a JSON. And I mentioned that, you, know, you might have heard of a JSON, JavaScript Orient Object Notation, I believe. However, R, we're converting it into a, a data frame. And so the reason why I'm mentioning that is because this is weird, right? This is a data frame within a data frame, right? And so, with that being the case, I traditionally, because in terms of what I analyze, my information that's in there for the most part, I I don't need. So if I just ignore that, but this is essentially Taylor Swift's information. Okay, I don't know if you know her songs like that. I don't know her songs. Welcome to New York. Welcome to New York. I don't know if that's how it goes, but that's my version. Um, so that is how we get information from Spotify. Mind you, the kicker here is that there are so many functions within, let me do it the right way, Spotify are so many functions. You can actually check out your own playlist. You can um get your devices. This is scary. <laughs> now I'm interested to see what it says. Illegal scope. Okay, I can't. Let's take it access to that. I guess, guess not. That's fine. I don't want you to see what I listen to my Spotify. All right. But yeah, you, there's a lot of functions that you'll have access to that will work, um, such as get RDS audio features, get albums, um, get playlists and things that regard. Thank you for watching. Thank you.